Hi there, Good Gulf here with a new Unity tutorial. This time I will take a look at how AI can help you shape your Unity project. There are a few obvious use cases I will show, however the newest one, using MCP, may be new to some of you. It still needs to mature a lot, but agentic AI will likely make life easier creating Unity projects. Ok, let's not get ahead of ourselves and start at the beginning. The first use cases for generative AI are pretty much standard. Do you need some graphics for your project? Whether it's a background image in realistic or low poly style, a tile pattern, an icon or an avatar portrait, tools like Midjourney, ChatGPT and Leonardo AI will be able to generate high quality images. Check out their discords or the numerous YouTube tutorials to improve your prompting skills. Tip: These tools are getting better at creating short videos, usually for seconds only. You can use such videos to create shortcut scenes or background animations. Do you need a soundtrack for the loading screen, the main menu, or just some background in-game music track? Creating a soundtrack with or without vocals is easy now. Tools like Suno allow you to create a music track with a prompt and also support creating your own lyrics. A tip. Most of the music generating AI tools do not allow you to name a specific band or song you want your music to sound like. You can, however, do the following. Ask ChatGPT, Gemini or any of the other AI assistants to describe the song or band you want your soundtrack to sound like. Then use that description to feed into the music tool. It will never be a 100% match, but you will get a bit closer. Here's an example where I asked ChatGPT to describe Kelleter's team from the Red Sonja movie and it came up with a decent song. Next up is helping you with code. Depending on the tool you use for editing the Unity C Sharp scripts, you may already have some prompting options available. Visual Studio Code and Rider both have these options now available, although the free versions have some limitations. Next to that, you can also use assistants like Copilot, Gemini, ChatGPT to find code solutions. You probably can find the same or similar code using Google, but this is without the gazillion banners, ads, cookie and login requests. And best of all, you can continue the conversation if you want some details changed or a whole new direction. There is a catch though. The code is not always perfect. In the background you see an example where I asked ChatGPT to show how to create a basic interpreter for me. It shows the steps you need to take as if it's a tutorial to follow. The code works, but if you look at it closely, it actually doesn't follow through on its own suggested approach. The actual tokenizer is not being used properly. Having said that, it still allows for a head start compared to trying to find this all out on your own. So, use it and keep thinking yourself while applying the code. Now what about MCP? This is a solution which integrates the previous example straight into Unity. It allows the AI large language models to interact with Unity through a so-called MCP server, model, context, protocol. So this is what a use case can look like. With a MCP client, like Cursor or Visual Studio Code, you can create a prompt and it will not just only show a script, it will create it for you in your Unity project. And even better, it can create objects in your hierarchy or interact with Unity in other ways, like importing a package. Let me give you an example. 
I'm asking here to create a set of cubes, assign them a color, and rotate them in a specific direction and speed. Once done, they should rotate in a different direction. It takes some time to create the objects and the script. As you can see, I needed to change the position of the cubes myself, since I didn't specify it in the prompt. But it does a decent job. Is it perfect? No. But it is a start to take some of the tedious and repetitious work out of the development effort. In a YouTube example video, which I will link in the description, you can see that Visual Studio Code creates a full project based on a requirements document. We are not that far yet with the Unity MCP server, but it's early days. Also, there are MCP servers for tools you may use to create assets for your project, like Blender or GIMP. If you want to try and use MCP servers yourself, using Visual Studio Code, then check out the video I link below, which explains how to set up an MCP server. I hope this tutorial has inspired you to see what the AI tools can bring into your development process. If so, then please like it. I will start working on my next video.